Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. This is Canada reality. Yes, I've gotten a lot of feedback. People telling me, okay, you speak too fast. Take it, slow it down a little bit. Naturally, I'm a fast speaker, but just because I need you to understand what, I was, what I'm saying, I'll be trying as much as possible to pipe it through a little bit so that you can understand me. All right. Um, I've received so many questions, people asking me this question about um, they want to come into Canada through visitor's visa or tourist visa. Can they change their tourist or visitor's visa and become a permanent resident? That is what I'll be addressing today. I know a lot of people are complaining because of the tuition fee and other routes so expensive. So can you actually change your uh, tourist or visitor's visa and become a passive permanent resident through that? That's what we'll be discussing today. So you want to hang on tight, stay tuned. I'll be back. Welcome back. So if by adventure this is your first time on this YouTube channel, or probably you just don't about this channel, this is Canada Reality, where MC Bernardino, that's me. I try as much as possible to give out the information for those that want to come into Canada and those that are already in Canada. Reason why I do this for free is because I came into Canada some six years back and I know uh, uh, the impact of the information I got and how it helped me to settle down very fast and to become a permanent resident to work towards my citizenship in Canada and that's why I decided to open this channel so that I can educate people like you so that when you get this information you can also act on it and before you know it if Canada is your dream you will be here just like me all right just like I said I'm not an immigration officer so I'm just giving out this information for free all right so if probably it's the first time on this YouTube channel you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel please I mean so many of you come to my YouTube channel you listen to what I have to say but you don't subscribe it doesn't cost you anything the only way you acknowledge that we're doing a good job and you want to encourage us is just to subscribe so kindly subscribe to this the notification is right here click on it, the logo click on it there's a notification bell beside it click on it so that anytime I drop a video you'll be alerted and you'll be among the first to get it and if you enjoy this video why not just hit on the likes button share this video with your loved ones thank you very much for doing that I appreciate that so now I'll be telling you about the different ways you can actually change your status from a visitor's visa or a tourist visa and you become a permanent resident through that so I'll be telling you four basic ways you can actually do that so you want to hang on tight till the end because the last two I'll be telling you about are the joker so let's start so the first one is true study true study what do I mean true study so if you come into Canada um, on a visitor's visa I mean visitor's visa is you have to be in Canada for six months if you want to extend it you can extend it within but you can work as a visitor right so so when I say true study you so when you come in through a visitor's visa and uh, while you are on visit in Canada you don't forget you can't work because it's just a visitor's visa what you can do within that period is that you can start to go to outsourcing for schools going to going online even you can actually walk up to some schools if you have your credentials with you walk up to them seek admission when you seek admission in that school probably you must have uh, talked to the uh, institution you seek admission what you can do is that by the time you are now done with your visitors visa you can now step out of Canada and apply for study permit so what does that give you so while you are in Canada on a visitors visa it has given you the opportunity to check around schools where you want to actually school is it you want to school in Ontario um, British Columbia any province you want to school being in Canada has given you the leverage, the opportunity to look around to see which school is the most appropriate for you and you've even been to the school to see how the school is. So from there, you can now, don't forget that if you want to apply for study permits, you can't do it from inside Canada, you still have to step out. So when you now go outside, it gives you the opportunity to apply. I mean, you know some things that a novice naturally don't know. So with that, you can apply and fortunately for you, you can get the study permit. When you get the study permit, you come back to Canada as a student and when you're done your study you apply for your postgraduate work permit and before you know that that's a clear path for you to become a permanent resident so as you can see that's one of the routes you can use from a visitor's visa you can become a permanent resident yes another way you can actually turn your visitor's visa or your tourist visa as the case may be and you can turn it to a permanent resident is applying for jobs while you are in Canada so before you leave your home country and before you come to Canada on a tourist visa probably you have a tourist visa you've applied for it and they've given it to you before you come in you must have come with your credentials and everything so while you're in Canada on a tourist or a visitor's visa as cases don't forget you can't work you're not allowed to work but one thing you can do is that you can use that opportunity to go to some of this organization show them your 
go for interviews if possible show you submit your resume when you get an interview go one-on-one -on -one interview talk to them tell them what you can do try as much as possible to convince them your capability your years of experience what you can do for the organization what would that do for you so if eventually the organization feel what you told them and they are ready to employ you the organization can go for that to apply for what is called lmia lmia is just trying to say let me just give you a brief summary of what lmi is all about lmi is stating that the organization is willing to hire you as you are a foreigner right they are willing to hire you meaning that they've looked around canada they don't find anybody that can actually do that job that can fit into that position except you so they are ready to file in lmia for you through canadian government and from there they will help you with the processing of your immigration and at the end of the day you still have to step out of canada but the company that's is ready to do the LMIA for you, will help you file your immigration and you can come into Canada on a work permit and when you come into Canada on a work permit after some years working, you can finally apply for your permanent resident and from there metamorphose into your citizenship. That is a big deal. So if you come in as a visitor to Canada, you can use that avenue, you can use that opportunity to apply for jobs when you get the interview and the company you can convince them they feel you can do what they want and they can also apply for the LMIA from you and from there that's a clear path for you from a visitor's visa work permit and now you're a permanent resident that's another route if you don't understand what I meant feel free to ask questions in the comment section below I will try as much as possible to elaborate more on that so I've just told you two good ways you can use to apply as a tourist visa and you become a permanent resident in Canada. First one I said through the study permit route and also I said through the uh, LMIA route coming into Canada to visit and you apply for jobs, you go for interview and the company is willing to apply for LMIA for you and from there you can become a permanent resident in Canada. So if you feel you enjoy this video once again please hit the like button and once again if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel all I can do is just to keep imploring, keep begging you please subscribe to this YouTube channel it doesn't cost you anything thank you very much for doing that. Alright I told you that the last two are the joker so the third point on how you can become a permanent resident from just a visitor's visa is through marriage. I mean this is a joker I just have to tell you the truth so that simply means that if you're single though if you're single that is a route for you so that simply means that if you're single and you come into Canada on the visitor or the or a tourist visa what you just need to do is why within the six months while you're in Canada you can because you're single you can start to mingle start to talk to if you're a guy start to talk to ladies connect through your friends community whatever just to see a citizen a permanent resident or a citizen in Canada that can I mean love you for who you are i mean you guys build a relationship and probably it ends into marriage so that person will be able to file for you and from there you'll become a permanent resident and afterwards you become a citizen so you can actually leverage on that six months while you're in canada to look for a spouse a girlfriend boyfriend you guys build a relationship and at the end of the day you can turn your visitor's visa into permanent resident i've seen a lot of people do that i mean if you want to do that it's not out of place in as much as you're single and you're not trying to cheat on your partner that is another very good route for you to become a permanent resident in canada so look into that but what i would just say is that make sure you actually genuinely love the person that you want to do that with but it's a clear path for you to become a permanent resident in canada just because you came in on a visit okay viewers i hope you actually enjoyed this i haven't told you about the study route the LMI route and also lastly I just talked about the marriage route the last but not the least on one of the ways you can transition from a visitor visa to a permanent resident in Canada is declaring refugee asylum so I'll quickly break that down so what does that mean so that simply means that uh, there are some countries all over the world like mostly the third world countries where there are troubles there are chaos there is anarchy and some people feel their lives are being threatened back home maybe because uh, you're a politician or politicians are after your life you're a journalist politician are after your life or because you are of your sexuality maybe you are bisexual you are gay whatever lesbian whoever you are and as a result of that your life is under threat or you are under you are being trafficked as a child whatever it is you can use that opportunity canada is still one of those countries that still allow people to declare refugee and declare asylum so that simply means that when you get the opportunity to come into Canada through study or tourist the moment you land into Canada 
you can just declare asylum you can declare refugee i'll be looking at doing a very comprehensive video on something like that so that you get to understand what it means to declare asylum in canada so that simply means that the moment you come into canada through study you just declare asylum you declare refugee telling canadian government the situation of things in your country how your life is not secured and if you go back to your country you might eventually be killed so if you can explain that there's a process for that though that's why i said i'll be doing a video on that because you need to get a lawyer and the lawyer needs to try to convince the judge on why you can't go back to your country and if eventually you get successful with this refugee status asylum status you eventually become a permanent resident in canada and after some years you eventually also become a citizen that is another clear path for you to transition from a visitor's visa and you eventually become a permanent resident on this last point which i said was the joker i've seen a lot of people use this route i mean if it is genuine i don't encourage people to use it if it's not genuine if you can convince the uh, the judge to it might be a very good clear path for you but i've seen a lot of people being and transition from visitor's visa to permanent resident to citizen in canada through this route and also on the contrary i've also seen some people that have been rejected too so it doesn't mean that for the fact that you come in here to declare asylum automatically you're going to get the visa no you must be able to convince the uh, judge on why you need to stay in canada so these are the top four ways that you can transition from a visitor from a tourist visa and you eventually you become a permanent resident in canada okay viewers thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for always coming back to this youtube channel for those of you that have subscribed to this youtube channel once again what can i say than to just say thank you very much thank you because without you guys this channel is absolutely nothing you are the reason why this channel is still standing today thank you very much also if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel you haven't made up your mind yet please i'm imploring you click on the button right here there's a notification bell beside it click on it so anytime i drop a video you'll be among the first person to get it if you enjoy this video likewise hit the likes button no now just to summarize everything out of all this point that i've told you about on how you can transition from a visitor's visa to a permanent resident if there's anyone that you feel you're not clear about you need me to give you additional information please drop it in the comment section below if you see that there's any impediment for you to apply through any of these four ways that i've just given drop it in the comment section below my social media handles are here too my twitter my facebook my instagram feel free to reach me on any of this uh medium but the best medium i prefer is through this youtube account thank you very much till i come back to you again with another wonderful educative video on canada reality the sight and sound of canada in uh, the lifestyle of canada i remember your one and only MC Bernardino, thank you very much. Stay out of trouble, stay safe. One love, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.